Welcome everybody. This video session will talk about the quick logical formula checks which are available to us which later we are going to combine with if logical statement to derive multiple calculations and reports. The couple of formulas we are going to focus on is blank, is error, is na, is number, is text and two new formula which has been introduced in 2013 version of excel those are is formula and is ref. Let's see what they do. Now in the first column I have some test data and I have written an indicative formula besides them. So for example if you work with numbers and you want to find out amongst a group of 10,000 values is everyone a number? So you can use the formula is number. In fact let me just make sure I add an additional column and make sure the font is black so that we can all look at it clearly. So equal to is number. I press tab key and I choose the cell containing the number, closing the bracket, enter. So if it is a number, it will show you as true. Now, if by any chance, if you had put a single quote before the 1984, it will show you as false, which indicates it's not being seen as number from Excel side. On the other hand, we also have a formula called is text, and that you can use to find whether a thing, a cell value is a text or not. On the other hand, we have a couple of errors which we put together under one common umbrella under the formula of is error. So is error, whichever error it is there in Excel, it will say true. There you go. All of them are true. Now specifically for two given errors, that is NA and ref error, we have two separate formulas called is NA and they only detect whether the formula error is an NA. Now, had I asked the same question is NA to one of the other formula errors, it would have shown me false. Similarly, I have something called is ref. Now, this is ref has been a newly introduced formula. I check out the cell, close the brackets, enter. So, these are formula which just validates whether they meet a certain condition. Is number, is text, is error, is NA, is ref. There's something new which is very fascinating included in Excel 2013. And that is is formula. Sometimes we want to find out whether amongst 10,000 cells is everything which is supposed to be a formula is a formula. So is formula tells you exactly that. Now since this is equal to 2 plus 2 it says is formula. Had I written 4 by hand it says false. So these are a couple of formulas which we are going to build into our if logical statement to achieve more. In short you'll be able to look at the reference sheet which will tell you what is is number used for. It is often used to check validity of dates. If you watch our videos on dates, the concept of date, you'll notice every valid date is a number from Excel's point of view. So if you're writing something called 22 slash 07 slash 2009 and the control panel setting suggests that you must enter the date in MDY format, which means Excel will not be able to read this as date. And you can find that out using is number. Is this a number? Mm -hmm. It's not, hence cannot be read by Excel. Had I written the same thing, 07 slash 22 slash 2009, it would have told me true. So if you want to discuss more on the logic behind this is number formula used for date, please watch our videos on dates. And as discussed earlier, it is also used to check whether a displayed number, which looks like a number, whether it's actually a number, whether it's actually stored as a number. So we'll see in other case studies, how do we use is error, is blank and so on and so forth. Sometimes with respect to is blank, you'll also notice there are certain cells which look blank. But since there's one space which you and I cannot see, that can be detected by either is blank or len formula. Len will also capture the length of one character which is one space. So that was just a group of formula which we'll use later in our case studies.